Lee Sohee, or Han Sohee as she is popularly known, was once labeled a bad girl because of her role as a controversial other woman in the drama World of the Married and her former gritty wild child image. She has experienced numerous difficulties over the past few years, including legal charges and judgment for her past. But these have not kept her down. Here are six things Han Sohee doesn't want you to know. Han Sohee has been embroiled in a fraud case involving her mother's debt struggle since 2020. In 2014, when she turned 20, she took to her blog back then to explain that she learned about the loans her mother had taken out. She stated that her relationship with her parents was strained due to their divorce when she was just 5 years old. She was then taken in by her maternal grandmother in Ulsan, so he expressed remorse for trying to pay off her mother's debt out of filial piety to her grandmother, stating that she didn't realize her actions were causing harm to others. Early in 2022, Korean media reported on a fraud case being filed against the mother of a famous celebrity. This was later revealed to be Sohee's mother, who had borrowed 85 million won from an acquaintance, promising high interest returns but eventually failing to deliver. Additionally, she even took out loans in Han Sohee's name when she was still a minor. There was also an instance of forgery of a private document. Han Sohee faced legal charges and imprisonment under violation of the Electronic Financial Transactions Act. The Olsen District Court determined that there is insufficient evidence to implicate her in the fraud case involving her mother's debt. In response to the court's ruling, her agency, Nine Auto Entertainment, released a statement affirming that so he had no involvement in these matters and is not responsible for her mother's accumulated debts. The statement also aims to prevent further misuse of her name and reputation. When the 2020 drama The World of the Married garnered immense fame for Han Sohee, many people became curious about her past. This led to the discovery of photos of her with intricate arm tattoos, and some even showed her smoking. While South Korea is known for its technological advancements, it is still a relatively conservative society that can be judgmental about tattoos and smoking. So he chose to quit smoking and have her tattoos removed in order to pursue her acting career. When her past became a hot topic, she responded to it in her typical cool girl fashion, stating that since she is working hard to keep up with the restrictions of a life in the entertainment industry, the present is the only perfect version of herself. While she may have removed her earlier tattoos, fans have still been able to catch glimpses of new, possibly floral, tattoos through her various endorsement appearances and airport fashion moments. In fact, she even showed off an eyebrow piercing recently, adding to her badass and fearless image. For some time now, Sohee has been plagued with health issues. In 2021, she was rushed to the hospital after fainting due to breathing difficulties on the set of My Name. This was in addition to the multiple injuries she suffered during her preparation to play Yoon Ji Woo, who joined an organized crime ring to avenge her father's death. While she spent a couple of months in action school to refine her fighting moves, she had to put on 22 pounds to injure the harsh action routines. While filming Nevertheless later, she pulled out of what could have been her debut feature film, Gentlemen, citing health concerns. In August 2022, Sohee suffered a facial injury while filming her upcoming drama, Young Song Creature. It wasn't a major injury and fortunately didn't require surgery, but she had to stay home and rest before resuming filming. Some fans noticed that Han Sohee looked thinner recently in November 2022, causing concern among the fandom. Her agency had to reassure everyone that she is healthy and that there is no cause for concern. It wouldn't be wrong if one said that Han Sohee has taken up uniquely versatile roles in her career, so much so that none of her characters are similar. It is fair to say that while her characters have brought her fame and popularity, they have also attracted unfavorable comments and hate. In her 2018 drama, A Hundred Days My Prince, Sohee was a crown princess, forcefully married to and constantly neglected by Do kyung -soo's crown prince. While there is pity for her unfortunate situation, there is also dislike for this character. She received lots of fame and even bigger hate for her portrayal of Yoo Dak-yung in the 2020 drama The World of the Married. 
Playing the other woman in the perfect life of a married couple resulted in her being bombarded with hate comments. More than anything though, this is a sign of a job truly well done. 2021 gave us Sohi as Nabi in Nevertheless, constantly wanting to be in a toxic relationship with Song Kang's Jae Yeon. While appreciated, this character was also equally criticized because of the solid second lead syndrome caused by Che Jong Hyop's Do Hyuk. My name received mixed reviews but definitely helped shine the light on her. Her efforts to play this role were appreciated even while the plot was considered mediocre and typical. Finally, in 2022, we saw Sohee in the fresh and lighthearted romance soundtrack number one with Park Yung Sik. Interestingly, her next project, Yung Song Creature, is with Yung Sik's friend, the widely beloved Park Seo Joon. Han so he is no stranger to dating rumors. As her popularity grows, she has been romantically linked to her co-stars due to their on-screen chemistry. This year, she was rumored to be dating her nevertheless co-star Song Kang after a fan photo sparked speculation online. Recently, Moon Sang Min was featured in some of Sohee's online pictures. One photo showed her watching his show, Under the Queen's Umbrella, and another was a selfie of the two that looked like it was taken in a bedroom. This picture in particular caught a lot of attention, with fans and netizens speculating about whether they are actually a couple. In an interview, Sang Min crushed these doubts and clarified that Sohee is a fan of his show and hence was supporting him by watching. As for the bedroom, looking selfie, he said it was actually taken in the living room, which just happened to look like a bedroom. If this wasn't enough, fans all over fell in love just seeing Sohi with a thigh actor win at a recent event in Thailand. While some comments online have admired the visuals served by this power couple, others have gone as far as to demand a drama with these two. On a lighter note, it was during the same Thailand visit that Sohee's humility caused her to go viral. She was greeted by huge throngs of fans with gifts and letters at the airport. She was so gracious and accepted everything with a smile, but then she did something that totally melted her hearts. She knelt on one knee to sign posters for her fans. In Korea, kneeling is a sign of humility, and seeing her do that just made her fans love her even more. At the event the next day, when she spotted a crying fan in the crowd, she immediately headed over and gave them her autograph, while comforting them by asking them not to cry. Recently, there have been articles circulating online that say Kim Ji Yoon, Han So Hee, and Ryu Jin from ITZY look alike. People have been sharing pictures and comparing their features, and many believe that they have similar facial structures and expressions. This has sparked a lot of interest and debate among fans and netizens alike. Some people are convinced that the three women are doppelgangers, while others think the similarities are just a coincidence. Even if she would prefer to be known for her work, these are still the sweetest reasons to go viral. While we look to the future for Sohi to have a great year ahead, we also hope that she continues to take care of her health while portraying all kinds of diverse roles she wishes for.